maybe this will actually help it. Okay, so in this, this is an example. So low live roar in this case. This is a ticket that you could buy to this event. All right, now in this case, again, it goes to, to the shop, but instead you could have this linking out to their uh, link external to the site, and this would be an affiliate commission. Now, the reason I keep bringing this up is you can charge more for that. So in a typical affiliate commission is anywhere from 20 to 80%. So those of you who think I'm overstating that, go to ClickBank and you'll see, which is a you know cheesy but very popular affiliate network, you'll see many of the uh, affiliate products are that are the best selling have exceptionally high uh, commissions that they pay affiliates, 80%. All right. You cannot charge that. So you, you know, you couldn't ask for 80% of the profits of a ticket sale from your professional peers who are listing themselves or listing their events on your site. They would cry bloody murder. It's not the way it's done. You probably could get away with 50% occasionally, you know, occasionally and people are still going to protest that but not if you link to their site it's much easier from a technological standpoint just that make this link rather than having to go through the cart on your side which requires another plugin called wc vendors and all that other stuff which everyone you know who's trying to outsmart themselves wants all that integrated on the site i say don't do it that way instead use affiliate links right so the other thing that gives you an instant ability to make money from your directory is let's say this guy here you're linking to his site for this event and you've said to him we charge 50 percent you know we don't charge let me restate that we ask for a 50 percent affiliate commission which is standard in the industry and then you tell this guy let's say this is joe to go check what affiliates uh what affiliate marketing rates are standard uh industry-wide and of course there are many different industries that one could check but 50 percent is fair and joe would see that but what joe's going to tell you is that well i don't have an affiliate program and that gives you an immediate entryway into offering a uh, service to Joe, in this case, setting up an affiliate program, which is something that you can do uh, in an afternoon, giving Joe a really viable, valuable, and enduring way, an exciting way, actually, to build his business and giving you an easy two or three hundred dollar job that might take you an hour while watching, uh, you know, daytime TV in the background. So not only are you giving Joe the ability to incorporate tickets and products on his profile, in this case here, you are also uh giving him an affiliate program that he's going to be excited about exploring in his business with other partners, potential partners, um, you know, with his, his clientele or, you know, the, the folks who patronize, uh, patronize his business or his restaurant or his nightclub or whatever it may be. So he can approach them now and say, hey, guys, you know, I have this great new uh, partner program or ambassador program. And you set that up for him and he also paid you two or three hundred dollars to do that which is again a not a high cost but it's something that most businesses will agree to pay and it's giving you a, a couple hundred bucks as an online agency uh, style service that you can do a hundred times in any you know small city or any small town you can do it a thousand times or two thousand times for a really big directory in an, any average size city and it gives you the ability to have hundreds of you could really turn your directory using my list my, my listing into a um you know a a real marketplace style community so again with buddy press you know uh being one of these uh functions that are pretty that is pretty unique uh for a directory and 
again, they have integrated this with WC vendors, meaning you can run a marketplace on your site if you so choose with that example that we just went through getting paid by you, you know, and this and the order going through on your site. But I would recommend instead of doing that, uh, save yourself the trouble and the time and the aggravation and just create affiliate links that have your affiliate link embedded in them in the shop and also give you the ability to offer a moderately priced affiliate uh, you know, service where you're setting folks up with affiliate uh, offers in your community or in your niche or in whatever vertical it is that you are choosing to compete. The last thing I'll say is, of course, once you do this a couple of times, you're going to find someone is going to be so grateful or so uh, impressed and so uh, excited about having you know, an affiliate program that they're going to tell somebody that you are the person to talk to about X, Y, or Z related to marketing. Right. So if it's a citywide community or citywide directory, you're just building little touch points for getting your name out there in the larger, uh, you know, local universe as an expert authority or the go to person for marketing related things. Lastly, most people, you know, bakers, candlestick makers, lawyers, plumbers, doctors, it matters not, don't know the first thing about setting up an affiliate program or anything like any of this stuff. They don't realize that you're buying a theme on Theme Forest and building this in an afternoon. They think that you've put some real time investment and intellect into this whole project. So um, hopefully you do that anyway, but that gives you by dint of just having the thing, having the asset, having the site that gives you the appearance of authority or expertise, according to the vast majority of the people that you're going to be approaching in the first place. Most of them have no idea that this is a theme that you bought on a popular uh, WordPress theme shop that you built in an afternoon. All right. I hope that helps a little bit. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.